Yar! Oh, plasmas, ahoy! Little children on the beach. Ahoy! Ahoy, mateys! Let us in! Whoa! What was that? Did we just get shot? Oh. Oh. I thought it was plasma guy's ship, but it's actually, uh, the gym leader. Alright! Alright! What's up, man? Let us in your boat! Let's do a boat venture. Yep. Ahoy, mateys! And he's gonna go into the cave. Um... Okay. Alright. Alright. What? What? That, okay. He, he's gone to the boat, and I guess the most obvious thing would be to just uh, follow him. So let's let's do that. Whoa! So is this Team Plasma's boat, or what was the gym leader doing here? All right, we're having a battle. Okay. I guess he escaped the boat somehow, or something. Who knows? We got some plasma guys here. Some grunts. Oh dear, 420, let's go. Oh. Um. And I'm pretty down on health, so that's. Uh, oh, I'm faster. How is this possible? Great. You've been working out on your speed. Oh ho ho ho! Critical hit, thank you. I kinda needed that. And it's a Garbador, but I got Psychic. Alright. Let's try it out. Psychic! Which I also think has a different animation, but it still looks pretty ugly. I've never really. I, the first gen, gen Psychic was pretty cool. But the new ones, eh, I, I, I don't know. It's just stupid Psycho waves. Eh. Not really my thing. Can I get a level up, blocks? Yep, there we go. Good job, Rick. Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. Alright. Is this going to be just another um, gauntlets of uh, plasma grunts or... Uh, okay, at least those guys are running. And I bet we need to follow them. Ah, oh, there, there we go, there goes Rival. And I should probably use a revive on Tony. Let's go ahead and do that. And then potion it up. Do I have any other random potion? Max potion, full restore. Well, we are not going to be using them. Well, I do have plenty of hyper potions, so there we go. And money is kind of eh, irrelevant in this game, so I have plenty of it. So I can just buy more. And there we. What? What? What do we got here? Hello there. Ooh, a revive. Thank you. Anything else? Oh yeah. Let's do that. We are not going to need some any repels here. But let's explore the boat a bit. And there was one grunt over there. And we got retaliate. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. If I'm gonna teach a normal type move to something, it's gonna be strength. I was kinda thinking maybe I could teach it to Superior eventually. Then uh, I would have something with strength and Superior would have some coverage. Um, hello? He's just... Okay, he's just guarding the way, so yeah, definitely just go this way. But we found some extra special items, which is always awesome. It's super special awesome. Let's go into the cabin. Hello? Double battle blocks? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, double plasma action on the way. Across the boat. And the screens. There we go. They both have two pokes. So my better. And I bet the rival has Samurai again. Yup. Yup. And I get Tony. Hmm. I guess the best thing I can do is just Rock Slide. It hits both opponents. So, and it... So Viper... Oh. Well, at least it hits the Gold Dash. That's all that I really care about. Yeah, Kata. And that did like nothing. Samurai uses Encore. Why would you do that? Get poisoned, Samurai, for your stupidity. No, it doesn't get poisoned. No, oh, well. But Tony's going to rock slide. And hopefully. Yeah, it hits the goal, but didn't miss either of them. Good. Good job. Yep. And Tony levels up also. Alright. 
Let's go, Tony! Aqua Tail! Take it out, blocks! Mm. Yes, there we go! Teamwork! Now that Samurai figures out not to use Bomb Code on the first freaking turn when you don't even know what your opponent is going to use, and this is in game! Why would you even have on Code in the in game? Especially in the 5th gen, it isn't really that good of a move that it got nerfed. But, anyways, I should probably just the use of. Uh, yeah, weak armor! Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm gonna make up for this mistake and then I'm just gonna use. Um, the. 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 What's the move again that I'm thinking of? It's Bulldoze! Because it's super effective against both of those guys. But then again, I wouldn't really like to. Why would you do that, Samurai? Why would you encore again? You had a good chance. Okay, you deserve to get hit with the bulldoze. So let's do it. Let's do it. Well, that didn't do much to the Samurai, anyways. All right, so it's gonna do a ton. Ah, Carpador goes down. Awesome. Awesome. Dragon still lives. Dragon still lives. Oh dear, Night Slash. Don't do too much. Uh, that's Aqua Tail. That's that's a good idea. That's more like it. That's more like it, Samurai. All right. Yep. Oh. Would it be nice to get a level up, but we win. No win. Maybe next time. Rival, can you heal my pokes blocks? I would want to do that, but there goes the grunts. And what waits up ahead? Oh, he just left. Okay, I, I I guess there's yeah, I guess there's something else that needs to be done, like going to the other cabin or whatever the place what was where the other guy was guarding it or not. He still doesn't let us in. Oh wait, there wasn't there stairs like right here. Yup, yup. Well, that would most likely be the better option. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't it? But I just kind of thought that the guy would move, but yeah, I wasn't paying attention that there were actually stairs here that I just remembered. Oh. Um. You're leaving me here, eh? Um, well, at least I can use potion here. So, let's use one on uh, Jody. And, uh, well, these guys have a bunch of poison types, so. I might as well go with Tony. Are you going to have a battle? No. But she, she does want a battle. She's just randomly strolling here like other random trainers would on a random road. But we'll see, we'll see. Only one Pokemon, hopefully it's a poison type. Isn't that a poison type? I don't remember if the damage was super effective. That's dark and poison, I'd say. The first evolution is box type, because it's a freaking Scorpion. We, we, we will find out right now. Yeah, it's super effective. Nice. Nice. Toxic spikes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And I guess I could finish off with Dragon Breath. Not to waste too many power punch on the bulldoze. Although, again, there hasn't been a power punch issue. Well, that's the way I've been playing ever since a kid. Back then. Oh dear, Hyper Beam. And uh, if you haven't played Pokemon too much, you may think that's a good move, that, that, but that, that, that's actually one of the worst moves in the game. Because you need to re recharge. Yeah. I'm not sure if Hyper Beam has a new animation in the games. But that move sucks, so it's all irrelevant. Hello there, sir. Hello. Let's battle. Alright. And this is like the same inn for the other random ships, and it has lots of random cabins. And I bet we need to be exploring around. Oh dear. And I think Chase did mention to me that there's a like a password that these guys uh, might give to you. So I actually need to be paying some attention right now. Uh, let's attack him from the special side since I got intimidated. And to get the Parax. Yay! There we go. Crunch. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna sting. Uh, yeah, it does. It does a bit too much. Let's go to Rick and uh, just 
particles because it looks more awesome. Alright, let's do this. Maybe, yes, paralyzed, nice. Because that move definitely would have hurt me. The crunch. Stab on a Krugodile. Wasn't this Krugodile, right? Krugodile? Krugorok was the second evolution person, Sandile. I have really good memories with uh, Krugodile because I find a shiny, legit shiny in black and white one, which I've been mentioning many times because I'm so proud of it. Uh, does this guy mention anything about the password? I think the password is some n numbers. But, uh, we'll find out. Hello there, sir. Um, something for. Okay. Oh dear, teleportation rings. No. And plasma grunts that we need to battle. No! This thing is a maze. Uh, oh, 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 well, I was complaining, like, a couple episodes ago that yeah, there, have, there haven't really been too bad of a mazes in, mazes in this game, and now I just completely butchered the word. But, uh, yeah, there haven't, haven't really been any mazes or too bad of a puzzles or anything, but I bet we'll be getting some of that right now. Sludge Bomb! Oh, dude, do not poison me. Yeah. What do you know I get poisoned? Oh. No. There better be a Nurse Joy somewhere here, or something. I'm gonna crunch. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. And I will need to use potion or something, and there we go, Tony level 50. Nice. I think I'm just gonna go with Tony just because, yeah, more poison types, and I kinda just wanna get these battles over and done with. Hyper potion. There we go. And then I probably had, there we go, antidote right here. I got 12. 12 of these. I haven't really been even using antidotes. I haven't needed too, too much of them. Luckily enough. Hello there. And another battle. What do you know? What do you know? And I bet, like... Well, now I'm just worried. Like, there are so... This is only the first cabin. Two grunts and two teleportation rings. And, like, oh dear. Where in the world do we need to go? Alright. And world key. Well... We are going to be bulldozing you. Let's go, Tony. And uh, that's that might not. Oh no, toxic. No, and I, I bet I'm gonna make an in-game prediction right here and say that he's gonna use protect. He's gonna use protect. So I'm just gonna. There we go. Antidote right there. I get plenty of them. Still ten left. So oh, steamroller. Wow, <laughs> that, that, I gotta say that's a pretty awesome move. Let's go for the Dragon Breath, because this thing might be just a bit more physically defensive. Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Dragon Breath does the trick. But no, got my prediction wrong. And we got a Watchhog. Um, Xenon, let's go. I want to deal with Watchhog. And it's Hyper Fang and that thing living my folder and all that stuff. Alright, 420. Let's go for it right. We're gonna be face bombing here. You are the one face bombing. As I force palm. And a crit. You deserve it. Because red eyes 420. Get out of here. Alright, did he mention something about N? Um But I do wanna check out the other cabins before we go anywhere else. What do you know? Oh, Oh! Hello, that's a Reshiram. I guess I got that to my Pokédex right now. And that's a Zekrom, which I also got to my Pokédex. And I guess uh, she was telling that it's their goal to capture those things or something. You know, they're always up to shenanigans and that usually in involves uh, capturing some legendary random Pokémon. Alright. But, let's keep battling more of these guys. And I think these guys are the new Team Plasma guys that have the uh, black uniforms, they are called Neo Team Plasma. I'm not really sure if that's official, but that's that's what I've been hearing. And the other is just, uh, you know, regular Plasma. And these guys would be the Neo Neo Team. But anyways, rambling. Pony Yard! Yeah. There we go, one-shotted. One-shotted, that's a great start. 
And another one. Alright. I guess we are just gonna keep bulldozing. Yeah, I'm just literally bulldozing my way through all these runs. That's that's what I'm doing. That is what I'm doing. There we go. And then there's another thing. But there are like three other cabins on the other side. And holy crap, another one. Really? This better be the last one. Yes, it is. Alright. Alright, luckily they didn't have Sucker Punch. I'm not really sure if this one is even able to learn that, or it's just the evolution. I do not know. I think it would. I still don't remember its name, although I've seen it quite many times, but I, I just cannot. I bet some of you guys have already pointed that out. But, because we have seen those things in the past, and I never remember the second evolution. Why is that? The Dark Steel type. Ponyard, what's the second evolution? Just no. Absolutely no. Cannot remember. Alright, bulldoze. Bulldoze is dragon. Yes, critical hit, thank you. Thank you. Now we can get a level up. Hopefully this guy doesn't have a uh, scrafty. That would be bad news, bears. Yep. Life hard. Well, let's actually go into Xenon. Let's go ahead and do that because it's a dark type. So I can just uh, go for the uh, face palm. Depends on the situation. Am I going to face palm or false palm? Yeah. Oh, it's actually faster. I really wish I had that justified again. But at least I do have the resistance, four times resistance, the steel and fighting type. So that did absolutely nothing. And Xenon almost leveled up. Oh. So close, but not quite. Are you saying anything useful? What about you? Alright. We're gonna clear out all these cabins first. And then... I will go... Oh. What is this? Some sort of alert? Hello? Hello there, fine lady? Are we going to have a battle? Apparently so! Oh yeah! We're gonna clear out all these cabins, and then we are going to look into those teleportation rings. Oh! The Dano. Or however you're supposed to. It actually comes from uh, Germany. Einsweintrein. The name of these uh, these Pokemon. Dano, Zvilos, and uh, Hydreigon. Einsweintrein. Which is kind of funny. Game Freak or and Nintendo are really clever with their names sometimes. But yeah, that's where the name name of all these evolutions come comes from, basically. But um, another one. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna be spamming the uh, Dragon Breath. I have no problem with that. Still got plenty of them. It's a good thing that Dragon Breath comes in handy. Here we go. And next one, which I presume is going to be another... Oh! It's actually a Sneasel. Well, in that case, let's go into Xenon. Who might be able to get his level up, finally. And just face palm away. Alright. And I'm probably even faster than Sneasel. Sneasel is not quite as fast as Weavile, although it's still pretty darn fast. Yep. And that's great. Must be. Yeah! Yeah, I thought so. Resisted hits. Not even stab. Must have been a crit. Still did like nothing. And yeah, Xenon at level 50. I'd really level up Rick because he's he's a bit down there. Level 44 was he. But you know, these guys are just much easier to deal with with Sony and uh, Xenon. So I just rather get everything done. What do you know? More grunts here. I, I can't even begin to think where am I supposed to go in freaking every single ga cabin pretty much. There's a teleportation ring and yeah, there's many of them and I'm supposed to go somewhere w with this place so uh, we'll be, yeah I have a feeling we'll be here for a while. For a long time, for a long while. And that's not a two hit KO, is it? No. Double hit? And what is that? What are you doing, Weezing? Alright. <coughs> I think one of the Pokedex 
Enfi said that uh, there has been found a wheezing that would have like three faces, but not sure on that. Maybe I've been just reading some random stuff on the interwebs again. And thank you for the poison! Let's go for Psyker! Let's get some action for Rick. There we go! Although I guess I could could try to use uh, Rick here since they do have some poison types here. But we'll, we'll see, we'll go with Tony because Tony is OP. Hello! Did we not battle? Yes, yeah, there's only, there's simply like four teleportation rings in, simply in just, in this room. And there's plenty more. I haven't been counting how many there are, like, has there been like four in each? Probably. Anyways, it's a Brook Rock and it has Intimidate, which means I should probably go into, well, I'm gonna Dragon Breath once. Hopefully get the Parahax, that would be really useful. Or I just pretty all hit it. Alright, that works out. Because I was thinking I could go into Rick again. And that's Eradicate. We will deal it with deal with it with Xenon. Alright, but after this after this, there's only one more room left. And after that, we can go into these freaking teleportation rings. Alright. And forest palm. Hopefully I can knock this thing out. I should be able to. Yeah. Forest Bomb isn't really the most powerful move, but uh, Xenon is pretty darn powerful by itself. Packs the punch. Um, there we go. But, this is the last room, and yay! Actually, Magma Riser. That's the item for uh, evolving Magmar into Magmar, sir. What do you have to say? But yeah, luckily no battles, so that means we can finally go into these one of these things and uh, try them out. Uh, okay, they just go back and forth, so I I guess I will need to just find the right. Oh, well, this one gets to a new place. Aha! Uh -huh. That will get rid of one of the electric thingies. Okay, I see the deal. But now that we have battled everyone, you know, definitely much easier and more fun that way. All right, so I guess we'll be just going back and forth until we find four switches. Let's go on this one and this one. I have no idea where where am I going, and hopefully, eventually, I will find those three remaining switches. Um, I bet I already was here, uh, to be honest. Oh! There we go. There's one. Let's get back. Maybe this one will get me to the next one that was right there. No. Alright. Probably shouldn't have gone back. Where did this one get me? Um. Let's go here. This gets me... alright. Well, two more left. And... I was probably here just a moment ago. But... oh dear. Well, we were just here, so let's go behind her and... oh! Did that. Alright! Alright! We got rid of one, again. And I would kind of imagine that the last one would be on the other side, because we are now on the left side. But now, yeah, now we are on the right side. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm just going to go into one of the places where I possibly haven't been in a while. Um, like this place. Let's go here. All right, that got me. I'm gonna check each teleportation ring in this room. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna try the first two then. All right. Divide and conquer. Only one more left. Yes, there we go. Nice. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad at all. There we go. Get rid of all the grunts. Got all the switches turned off. And we are ready to go on back here. 
And how does my team look like? They are going to do just fine. And this will teleport me to one of the sages, the guy with the ugly suit, who looks like a sumo wrestler. Ha ha ha, I'm afraid you are too late. My evil plan is already... Alright, yeah, yeah, that part. They have already captured Kyurem. So there we go. Kyurem! Oh, he's captured down there. Oh dear. Me and Kirim, we go way back. I did that one talking Pokemon episode with Kirim. But now Kirim, he doesn't suck anymore, at least with, with his uh, new forms. Can we have a double battle blocks? I would really like that right now, after all those single battles with the grunts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh dear, six Pokemon. Cryogonal and Lightheart. Okay. Well, that cryogonal thingy, it has levitate ability. Which means I cannot hurt it with Tony. With the bulldoze, at least. So we are going to rock slide, and hopefully it is not faster than me. Yes. Wow. It would miss on the cryogonal, which is going to ice beam and kill me. Wow. That was a dick move. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. A dick move game, dick move. And this thing is going to use Encore. Go Samurot! Oh, it actually used the move and that's gonna... Oh, actually used to hit the life hard. Well, I guess that works out. Who am I going to send out? I'm going to send out Rick. Because Rick needs more experience. Alright, let's go. And it's a watch hog. I think I would just go for the surf because it doesn't do much. Well, Zen Headbutt could hurt the uh, Cryogonal pretty badly. Uh, let's get solid damage on everything, and yeah, it's not gonna hurt the Samurai too badly, so uh, let's just go with that. See how much uh, I can do. Although the Cryogonal does have pretty darn good special defense. But we'll see. Watchhog at least doesn't enjoy it. Come on, Samurai, kill something! Yes! That's, that should take out the Cryogonal. Yup, there we go. Go teamwork of water types. And Hyperfang, no, don't do that. Oh, I actually did. Alright, alright. I'm gonna surf again, and Samurot. Oh, it's actually faster, but it, that does nothing to me. Oh, it actually takes me out. I thought I could live one. But that's horrible. Oh, and no experience for me. Well, this is horrible, kinda. Um, hmm. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't really want to send out Smog, which could use the experience. I'm just gonna send out Xenon, since he's pretty much the best guy to go with right now. And there's a Scully Bead. Oh dear. Well, we are going to take out the Cryogonal. Like, right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh! Oh, you're gonna use Light Screen, eh? And that thing is going to Agility, and Agility still looks freaking awesome. It does. So there we go. Force Palm from the physical side and knock that thing out. And Samurai, hopefully you will do something useful like Aqua Tail on the Scolipede. Please do it. Yes, it lands. How much will it do? Yep. Uh, oh, poison points. Well, you deserve that, Samurai, for being a jerk and stealing all my experience. My precious experience. And what do you know, it's wee while with pressure. I think the Weavile with the pickpocket ability is also now released, but then again, that move isn't really as. It, it, it isn't. That ability isn't really that good. And slash? Okay. I can deal with that. And I can just force palm back, and that's four times super effective, and that's gonna knock you out, and that's gonna be the game for the Weavile and crits on top of that. That was like a. Holy crap. Oh dear, flinch! No! No, Samurai, why would you let me down? Well, I guess I'm gonna... Um... 
I'm gonna go for the humiliation kill. What was the last move used, by the way? Oh, and while it's going to use a hyper potion. I'm gonna copycat the hyper potion. What? It wasn't the steamroller, because Samurai got flinched. Well, now at least it is. I'm gonna steamroll roll, roll over you. Let's go. Humiliation kill. Hopefully this will kill. Yeah, yeah from this range it does. Alright. Humiliation kill, indeed. There we go. I love copycats. You can do fun stuff with it. Alright. But they have Kiram here. And the time we used the battle was enough for some random plasma grants to prepare their operation and now we are kinda screwed up again. Why would you capture Kiram? Kiram, he didn't do anything to you and he sucks anyways, but when they fuse it with the... If they are going to fuse it with the fleshy ram. They talked about, one of the grunts talked about that. Uh, Reshu Ram and, uh, Zegron. <gasps> Ninja time! Whoa! Where in the world are we going? There's the boat. And then there's sky. And everything's beautiful. Whoa! -ho -ho! What is this? What did just happen? Well, there goes the boat. And it's preparing to fly off. And where in the world is it going? We will find out. Holy crap. This adventure takes a really interesting turn of events right here. Alright, where is the boat going? Are we going to uh, the place where uh, Zegrom is? You know, I'm playing, playing black, so... Oh! They actually kicked us out. Huh. Okay. And there's terrain. So what do we do now? We got kicked out of the ship. They're long gone. We are here at the beach. And there goes Wild. Okay. Okay. Any smart ideas, Mr. Gym Leader? There we go. You got something? Uh, I, I bet he does. Or did. Um... Did he just talk about Road 22? Let, let us look at the map, but I will most likely be ending things here. Since we kind of wrapped up that part. Um... Um, yum, yum, yum. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, obviously, those plasma guys are gone from the giant chasm. So we can go over to the next place. But that's where the Pokemon League is, but that's where some random Japanese place is. But, uh, next time when we come back, we will be going over to Road 22 and back to the giant chasm, because now, obviously, obviously those grunts that we had there earlier have moved aside and we can go to the cave and we can go to the giant chasm and we can have all sorts of fun stuff. Good times. That'll be next time. Thank you for watching. Until then, this is the Flaming Spade, hiding out. Peace.